real easy spare to see what happened. You know, you chop the spare there. Uh, real easy spare to chop there. A lot of people take those for granted. Not as easy as it looks. Macesso. Yes. A nice power pocket hit. It is five in a row for the Lady Elks. And they are on a roll. 129 in the fifth. count of nine three or two opens no check that three opens for Fairborn uncharacteristic of them in Baker Kendra Snyder looking to cover looking for that seven pin and she'll get it well can Wakeman keep it going Let's They've see. got five. They've and got the fans saying, we want a six-pack. High. Ooh, Ooh. Big four. And for the first time, you see a big split. And that's what happens when you go high on that head pin. But still, what frames they put together. That's 155 I have. I'll just go for two here. Still can slide it over. Nope. She hit the field goal. <laughs> but she doesn't pick up three for the effort. No, she doesn't. And I got 177 through nine. So do I. Or through eight, sorry. Through eight. Through eight, 177, 105 with a spare working. And nine oh. and a wiggle. And a big wiggle. That, that shot was real close. You just see the six just catch just a little bit of that 10. Lead. And the 10 pin is converted. So gets it done in the ninth. Possible 237 for the Lady Elks if they can get four more strikes here. Van Etten here in the ninth. Got a curry. That time threw it a little bit too far outside, got the oil and just slid down. It's a 247. Okay, let's go, Serena. Let's get three. Let's get three. That'll get there. Oh, it gets the break. That was the one, two, four. <laughs> so both teams spare in the ninth. She knows she got a break. When I saw the ball in the lane, I thought, yep, that's an easy pickup. But she uh, had a little drama with it. Now to the anchors of Renick here in the Oh, she's a solid ball. Very good strike ball. A lot of power there. Picks up nine. And just disappointed there. Puts 133 in the ninth for a possible 153 for the Skyhawks. So they have dropped game three here. So let's see if uh, Coach Jack Gregory elects to bring in a sub for the last shot of the 10th frame. And he will. And Elena Correa. This is Elena Correa to throw the final ball in game three. He gets a count of six. So 149 for Fairborn. And Kristen Keenan can, with no pressure, with this one already in hand. 159. Oh, I said 149. Yeah, I it's all right. 159. Solid shot by Keenan. For a possible 227 is what I have.
I think 216 if she makes it and strikes with it. Oops. Oops. Or no, I had, I'm sorry, I thought she had, I had the mark wrong. I do apologize. I think that gives her two. That's okay. I think we got 205. 205. So 205 to 159. And game three goes to the Lady Elks. They're up two to one. Game four.